As you can see, I've already done my face makeup. Um, I tried to keep it as close to what I did originally in my Best of Beauty 2013 video, but like you saw in my December, January empties, I'm out of my Urban Decay Naked Skin, which is the foundation that I used, but whatever, I will leave my whole face in the down bar below. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with the eye makeup. So to prime my lids, I used Max Rubenesque Paint Pot. Um, because it is gold and the colors we're going to be working with are very gold toned. So I'll just blend that over the lid liberally. I chose this product because they don't crease and they last all day. Like these are definitely cream shadows that you can just wear on their own. So they're super great to use as eyeshadow bases Then as well. to start off the eye makeup, I took this color Geek from the Kat Von D Spellbinding Eyeshadow Book and just this fluffy brush um, and just kind of sloppily kind of ran that through my crease just starting to define the eye because really I'm only going to be using one shadow on the lid but this will help to create a little bit more dimension when it comes to applying that color And you can blend this up as high or as low as you would like. I tend to blend flesh, to my, or flesh toned colors quite high up because I just like the way that looks. And I do blend them quite far in to my nose bridge line as well. Once you've got that on how you want it, then I'm going to take the color right next to it, which is Fallen, which is this kind of bronzy gold color and I'm just going to take a stiff flat brush um, and I'm going to apply that all over the lid you can use your finger for this step it just depends on what you are comfortable with doing So you want to bring that all the way out to the outer corner and you do kind of, kind of want to start blending it up into the crease as well. And then going back to that fluffy brush and still staying in Fallen, I'm going to blend that over top of that first color we laid down. Staying in the crease with this however, not going too high with it just really blending your edges out and just all that jazz. Um, then on the same shader brush we used first, I'm still in Fallen, and I'm going to take and run that on the lower lash line. Make sure you meet it up with the top lid. And then I'm going to pick up just a kind of stiff fluffy brush. This is the shading brush from Real Techniques. I'm going to pick up a little bit of the first color we used, which was Geek, and I'm just going to blend that out. Sorry, my phone just went off if you saw me jump. <laughs> So just like that. Then to start highlighting the inner corner, I'm going to hop over to the other side of the same row and pick up Sunset Boulevard, which is a really kind of yellowy gold and it does have glitter in it, so really make sure you tap your brush off so you kind of get that glitter off of the brush. Um, and then I'm just going to take and place that around the tear duct, really making sure to blend it into that first color or the darker bronzy color. Now when you look at this eye makeup look head on, I think it looks like it has more colors going on on the lid than it does. That's why I blended that Geek shadow into the crease first because you can see on the outer corner here it looks much darker. 
than it does on the inner corner. It looks more gold here and it looks more brown out here. So, you know, you could stop with this, put some mascara on or eyeliner and mascara and go. But there are a couple other steps that I did and since I'm recreating this look, I want to do it how I did it. Um, so then as a brow bone highlight, since everything else is quite shimmery, I'm going to go into the only matte color in this palette, which is Countess. And it's just a matte cream shade. And I'm just going to blend that over the top part of the shadow. And I'm just using a really fluffy brush to do this just to make sure that there's a good blend with everything. I'm also taking it out around this outer edge of the eye as well, just to make sure that there's no harsh lines and everything just kind of fades out and fades away perfectly. And then also on the inner corner of the eye, I took some of my Mary Luminizer on just kind of a, what is this? This is a domed, no, this is a deluxe crease brush, crease brush from Real Techniques. Um, and using the slightest bit of my Mary Luminizer, I just kind of dabbed that in the inner corner as well, just to even give more highlight in that part of the eye. Now, I did actually run something through the crease, and that color was this brown here called Cry Later. And again, it has glitter in it, so you want to make sure that you really tap off your brush, and I'm using my shader brush to do this because I want this application to be quite precise. Um, and what I did is I just kind of left my eye a little bit open, looked straight into the camera, and placed my brush right into the crease of my eye. I don't know if you can actually see what I'm doing, but see I'm just looking straight ahead at myself and placing the brush right in the crease of my eye just because I don't want that color to actually really show up and then going back to whoa <laughs> going back to our original fluffy brush I am just going to blend that out just so it meshes and blends away pretty much into that color or that first fallen color. And then on my angle brush, if I can find it, I'm also going to pick up some more of that fallen color and just really closely push that into the roots of my lashes on my lower lash line. So I have two ways that I have worn this look. I have left it with no liner like this and just thrown on some mascara, but then you can wear it like this with liner and just add mascara, which I haven't done yet. So what I did to this eye that is different from this eye is I took my MAC 263 and this charcoal black color here, it's more of a black than it is a gray, um, and I took and pushed that into the roots of my lashes on my top lash line and on the very outer corner of my bottom lash line. And then I tight lined with my Teddy Cole pencil. So that's what I did with this eye. It's just completely up to you. Those last two steps are completely optional. Like I said, I've worn it like this and like this. It just depends on your comfort level and really where you're going. Um, throughout the day. So I'm going to catch this eye up and put some mascara on and I will be so right back. So for mascara, I used the Mali Instant Impact Mascara. I have really been loving this mascara. It's kind of interesting. I'm thinking of doing a full review on that mascara. Um, I was going to do a first impressions, but I really couldn't find enough information to talk about the product enough. Um, and then just to finish everything off, I set my face with the Kat Von D Lock and Load setting mist. It really is my favorite setting mist. Um, but that pretty much does it for the eyes. Like I just had chapstick on so it wasn't really any lip products on my face. I, it, it's really simple and really actually easy to do. I mean you can do this with any colors. I mean just gradually get darker as you go along. But as the more I use this palette, I am super surprised about all of the looks I can create. You can do super neutral, super bright. Um, 
But the palette itself gets a lot of mixed reviews, but personally for me, it is definitely my go-to everyday palette that I use. Because for me, the colors are perfect. Um, but I am going to try to get away from using it in tutorials. I did get a palette from Mally recently that I think I'm going to do a couple of looks with and just kind of play around with it. Because um, I haven't really used it yet. So we're going to give that a go. Do a couple tutorials with that. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys liked this. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.